Hello Knockouts, Tanya TKO here and today is going to be an emergency man day. All right, now today is one of those days where my spirit really nagged me to make this video and so I feel that the universe works in tandem. So perhaps your guardian angel tapped you on the shoulder or you were beseeching some information and all of the pieces came together for me to make this video for you to find the video and for us to have this conversation we're going to talk about using people or using men for money I have a question that a young man submitted to me and I don't typically do this so if this is something if this video is, is a video that you liked if there was something about this video that you liked and you want me to do more of them please comment in the comment section because we're about to get right into it I'm going to give you some big sister advice and I, listen I don't typically get questions from men so this is why we're doing an emergency man day even though today is not Monday so let's jump right into it during a near-death experience I realized there's a lot more to life than we previously thought now I dedicate my life to waking Wake people up, up to love love, love each other self. most importantly love yourself you want to respect me it took dying to oh, learn how to live I'm Tanya TKO so the question says, good morning, beautiful queen. I am in trouble, I think. Anyway, whenever you can answer this message, I was looking for some advice. I'm currently talking to a woman and I'm not sure if this is going to work out. She got out of a relationship about a month ago, but she says she wants to get to know me. I don't have a problem with that, but she tells me she needs me to be a provider in the meantime. I don't feel right. I feel used because it's nothing in this for me. We are not physical and I am an affectionate person. I have not dropped crazy money on her. It's just I paid her phone bill. She asked me for money three times. I helped her with her with her son. There's not enough punctuation in this. Forgive me. Um, I have not dropped crazy money on her. It's just I paid her phone bill. She asked me for money three times. I helped her son with a Christmas present and I make sure she always got transportation. I tried talking to her and I just think that she don't get that I've been used in this fashion before. I feel like I'm investing and she is not. Now, you always say a woman shouldn't have to wait for a man to get himself together, but she is asking me to do just that. Would I be wrong if I cut her off or should I continue? She keeps saying to me, when I am up, this is some quotation marks, when I am up, you gonna be up. But I heard that before. Okay. Now, oh, Lordy, 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 Lordy. All right, now listen. Okay. I posted this question on my face. I posted this question on my Facebook page. And so, because I do this, I do this thing on Facebook called inbo inbox advice, where I get questions from people. Like I said, I don't typically make videos, but I get questions from people and I post it on my Facebook page and then I let other people answer. And I pretty much, I stay out of it. I let, for the most part, I let other people come forward and answer. But for some reason, like I told you, my spirit was nagging me to do a video about this. So like I said, if there's something in this video that you've benefited from, please leave your comment below let's jump right into it because this oh this upsets me so very much it really does part of the reason that I don't really give advice in email is because like if you want to if you want to set up a coaching session if you want to set up coaching sessions with me let's talk so that we could get down to the root of the matter and really really identify what is it that's going on underneath that precipitated this issue which fed into this issue and which caused this issue to become what it is today especially with your own participation in it now I'll add this part of what spurred this video is I have a family member who is constantly complaining to me about her problems school work family relationship all of these complaints that she has and it's just it's the same theme over and over again and that theme is really not taking ownership for how you participated in getting to where it is that you are right now part of the reason that i don't give advice in email is because i'll say this and, and hear me good it's very hard for me to give a person an honest answer 
when most times people are not honest with me because they're not honest with themselves. Now, there are a lot of red flags in this letter, a lot of them. And now, when I was listen, when I was putting on my makeup, getting ready for this video, I was thinking to myself, now you know what? I bet that this person, the, the, the person who wrote this email, or this question, I bet that this person has walked away from this situation thinking that he's a quote unquote nice guy. And I bet that he goes around calling himself a nice guy who's been getting used by people because there was one person who commented and was like, oh, this is a woman taking advantage of an innocent man or a naive man. Jesus Christ. You know what? Why? Why am I making this video? Why? I've had, honestly, I really don't want to talk about this. But let's jump right into it. I bet this person is going to walk away from this situation thinking that he's a quote unquote nice guy. Nice guy for what? Nice guy for what? Because you entered into a transaction with a person without letting them know the terms of the transaction. And when you did not get what you wanted or what it was that you were buying, then you... Bl <sighs> I have a feeling that this person is going to walk away from this situation thinking that he's the quote unquote nice guy who's getting taken advantage of by women and he thinks that he's a nice guy and has been a nice guy in the past and people just keep doing him wrong or whatnot. And you know, and I've done videos about this before. Oh, I feel so defeated. I've done videos. I've done videos about this before speaking specifically and directly to men. I want to break this down piece by piece because you know what? Listen, I don't feel like I don't feel like making this video. And the only way for me to continue is to break this down piece by piece. Okay. I'm currently told she got out of a relationship a month ago and she says she wants to get to know me. She says she wants to get to know you or she's getting to know you or you two are getting to know one another there's just so 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 much going on in this letter okay she tells me that she needs me to be a provider in the meantime okay so she tells you she needs you to be a provider in the meantime how do you feel do you feel that you need to be a provider in the meantime what what part of the game is this <sighs> Come on, it's like you all watch my videos. When have I ever said in any of my videos to give up your body, your time, your money, open your legs, your wallet, your home, your heart, your house, whatever. When have I, your refrigerator, when have I ever told you to open up any part of yourself in any situation that you did not feel comfortable in? So let's jump into what exactly is going on here, okay. I don't feel right. I feel used. It's nothing in this for me. We are not physical and I'm an affectionate person. That's the part that stands out. It's like floating out of the letter at me. And I don't know if it's floating out of the letter at you too. It's nothing in this for me. Okay. Hmm. Let me come forward, let's talk. Excuse me. All right, let's talk about this. What, what are you doing? What are you doing, huh? What, what are you doing? What are you doing? There's no, is nothing in this for you? What are you doing? Are you buying vagina? Are you buying a relationship? Are you buying affection? Are you, are, are you just giving money away? Are you, what, what are you doing? Did you meet a person and you two were vibrating on such a level that you felt that that was the that that was the right thing for you to do in this relationship? You don't already said inside the letter that you don't feel right about doing this. What you doing? What you doing this for? Huh? What you doing this for? You know, saw yourself a, a cute little face, maybe a, a fat booty, something. So all that softness and you was like, OK. How do I circumvent the getting to know you process? She said she wanted to get to know you. What, what, what did you say? What do you want? What is it that you have done to participate in the situation that you are in right now? Huh? 
Where's your responsibility and your culpability? She says she wants to get to know you. All right. Is she getting to know you? Are you getting to know her? What's going on here? It's like, you know what? Listen, I, I, I respect prostitution. I do because prostitution exploits a part of, it exploits a, a cavern of society that has been created by all of the hangups that we have about sex and all of the lack of worth that we have for a man's body, including men and their own lack of worth for their body and women and the, and the, and the lack of freedom that women have to be sexual and sexual on their own terms, etc. So that now we got this modern day prostitution going on with nobody really talking about what's really good. What's happening? What's happening? It's like, okay, listen, if you want a whore, just go buy a whore. It's like, People, the, it's like nowadays men are using money to circumvent the dating process, to circumvent the getting to know you process because they're like, what's the path of least resistance? Mm. What's the easiest way for me to get inside that creamy center? Let me put out a little bit of man name. Let me get, let me get around all of the getting to know you. Let me get around all of that so that I can put out some money and get me some honey. Honey, baby, there's no guarantees on that. Just go on Craigslist or wherever they have erotica was Eros, whatever. Go find yourself a bona fide prostitute. Go take that money and pay some money for somebody who is a professional who is trained in the art of sex because it's like, okay, people don't want the, all of the, the stigma and the stereotype that goes along with buying a prostitute so that they get into these quasi little relationship. Friend. Well, is this even a friendship? A month ago, she got out of a relationship. Who is this girl? How do you know her? What's the nature of your relationship? Are you getting to know her? What, what, what is it that you want from her? If all you want is a little bit of coochie, Oh God, listen, God, this upset, this upsets me so much. Ah, it upsets me so much because it's like, you're not being honest with your, you, you wasn't honest with her. You wrote me a letter, not being honest with me and doggone it. You not even honest with your doggone self. What's really going on in here? You didn't said in the letter, you don't feel comfortable. So then what are you doing? Why are you giving out your money and you don't feel comfortable? Huh? It's because there are two things you don't feel comfortable with. You don't feel comfortable with going out there and getting yourself a bona fide prostitute. And you don't feel comfortable with being in a situation, giving your money to a person, knowing that you expect some, some quote unquote affection in exchange or so some physicality. How, how did he put it? Let's look at how he put it. Let's look at how he put it. All right. All right. It's nothing in this for me. We are not physical and I'm an affectionate person. There's nothing in it for you to get to know a person, a human being that you may want to spend time with or, or go forward with on another level. What, what is it that you want to be quote unquote in it for you? You're dealing with a human being. The human being is in it. You're in it with this human being. All of our relationships are learning experiences, growth experiences. When you say it's nothing in it for you, that means that you were straight up giving money in exchange for affection. That's what that says to me. Baby, you can lie if you want to, to yourself, but you ain't gonna lie to big sister Tanya TKO. Honey, I'm gonna give you the real deal. This is why I don't give advice because people not really ready for the real. What they want is, oh honey, oh, oh you being used, F that B, F this. No, F the lies, B, F the lies, F that. <sighs> Let's go on, I didn't even finish the letter, breaking it down. All right. You paid her phone bill, got her little son a Christmas present and made sure she had transportation. All right. So now you buying poom poom with a phone bill, Christmas present and a few cab rides, or I hope it's cab rides and not just bus fare. God, I didn't really get that. I didn't listen. All right. I tried talking to her and I think that she just don't get I've been used in this fashion before. Oh, so, okay, so you've been used in this fashion before. You've been used or you a bad business person because you keep entering into these transactions where you don't let it be known what it is that you want. What do you mean you've been used? You mean people have given, you have given, I'm sorry. What do you mean you've been used? You mean that you've given women money in exchange for sex and didn't get sex in exchange so then therefore you feel used you know what on the flip side I tell the women about the about how they don't have no magic pum pum I talk to the women about not opening up their legs before they get what it is that they deem necessary before 
they get to that stage of the relationship. So why are you opening up your wallet before you've gotten to the stage of the relationship that deems it necessary or is the next logical step? I don't understand. Where's the relationship? Where's the, the intimacy? Where's the communion? Where's the, the, the getting to know you? Where is the where is the where is the relationship? Where where is that? Is there a friendship here? Are you helping a friend out? Because listen the only thing for the listen for the women the only thing that you're going to get in exchange for your vagina is some penis that's it and the only thing that you're going to get in exchange for giving somebody your money is the joy of watching them spend that money and unless you have some other terms figured out before you enter into that transaction then that's all that you are owed that's it penis if you're giving up your vagina Make sure that you know or make sure that you have discussed what it is that you expect in exchange for that vagina. Do you expect a relationship? Do you expect money? Do you expect your phone bill to be paid for and some transportation or whatever it is that you are giving your vagina in exchange for? All of this is, listen, all of these are transactions. You have to figure out what transaction it is that you want in exchange for what it is that you are giving up. If you're giving up your time, do you expect some time in exchange? If you're giving up your time, do you expect some money in exchange? If you're giving up your time, do you expect some affection in exchange? If you're giving up your vagina, do you expect penis in exchange? Do you expect a relationship in exchange? Do you expect love in exchange? Do you, what is it that you expect in exchange? And discuss this with the person before you enter into this transaction. What is it that you're expecting? And then this person the nerd didn't drag me into this at the end. When I read that, I really didn't want to answer. But listen, let's go, let's go forward. I feel like I'm investing and she is not. Investing? Investing in what? The only thing you've talked about is your money. I didn't hear you talk about the time that you're spending or none of that. What is, what is it that you're, that you're investing? And what are you investing in? You said it's nothing in there for you if there's no sex involved. So are you investing in what, what I, I don't understand. Where's the investment? The investment is when you, an investment is when you put forth something that you want to multiply into either more of that or something else. No, an investment is when you put something in and you want it to grow. You don't even know this person. Who is she? One month? Let's go on. This is where they drag me into this. Now you always say a woman shouldn't have to wait for a man to get himself together, but she is asking me to do just that. You done drag me into this, bro? Are you serious now? You done drag me and, and misconstrue what it is that I said? I talk to women about not entering into these relationships with quote-unquote potential. Men don't want you to change them. So go into a relationship with a man who is ready. What, what are you ready for, bro? What, what are you ready for? You ready for a relationship? You ready for a marriage? Well, what, what is it that you're looking for? I kind of get from this that, you're, that your act is not together, that you don't really have money. So then why are you spending money that you don't have? I'm confused. You said that women should wait until a man is together. So either you're together or not. Well, what's happening? Or you are as together as you're going to be. I, I don't understand what's going on. Oh, oh God. All right. Let's, 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 let's go further. Let's go further. Okay. All right. Would I be wrong if I cut, cut it off or should I continue? Now, what do I always say about listening to your inner spirit? What do I say about that? That's why I'm saying this letter wasn't written to me in earnest. You didn't already stated in the letter that, 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 that this was not something that you feel comfortable with. So if I tell you, yeah, continue, are you going to continue? How, what would you ask it? Why are you asking? I can't even sit back and relax in this video. I got to come forward again. <laughs> what you doing? Why are you asking me about what it is that you have already stated in the letter that you want to do? You don't feel comfortable. You don't have it like that. You don't, you're not getting the sex that you, that you wanted in exchange. Well, what is this letter really about? You asking me for permission to leave this relationship? 
when you've already stated you don't want to be in this relationship god there's so much going on here Holy. she keeps saying when i'm up you're gonna be up but i heard that before all right mm. 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 bro listen brother how low is your self-worth that you don't feel that you deserve a woman who will like you for you that's one how low is your self-worth maybe that's the starting point right there working on your worth as a man what is it that you are worth because right now you are a trick and you're tricking yourself. You are tricking out yourself. You're tricking yourself. And trying to turn a woman into a prostitute who's not selling sex or at least not selling sex to you because of whatever reason existed in this relationship before money started exchanging hands and before this whole messed up stinky situation, God. Let's just talk about the elephant in the room. Okay, let's talk about the elephant in the room. This woman. Who is this woman? Have you vetted her? Is this the type of woman that you want to be with? Is it? It doesn't really sound like you have vetted this woman. It doesn't sound like you respect this woman. It doesn't sound like this woman has anything to offer you in this relationship besides whatever it is that you were buying in this oh god in this bad transaction let me just tell let me just say let me put this out there also because i want to get i don't want to leave this video without saying this this doesn't make you a nice guy this makes you a bad businessman because you're conducting business with without first describing the terms of the business and the transaction and you do this over and over and over again bad gamble baby bad gamble but the thing is that it's not even a gamble it's not even a gamble bad transaction in any it listen in any form of business because you know what i've read this i've read this i read this 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 quote and the quote said if you do something for someone expecting something in return you're not doing kindness you're doing business and you are a bad businessman because you didn't let the terms of your business uh, negotiation or agreement be known before you started giving money in exchange for this quote unquote affection baby let's 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 start with that and then let's talk about this woman <sighs> who is this woman and what type of woman is she can we knock her hustle it's like uh, we we mad but can we be mad that she got a chance to use you before you got a chance to use her or would you be all right with a transactional sex in exchange for money relationship who is this woman is this woman a good match for you this is why i don't like to answer these questions because it just aggravates me look at my face i don't want to make a video looking crazy all throughout the video let me fix my face who is this woman is she a good match for you is this the type of woman you want to be with? I'm going to let you all in a little secret. I had the, can I say pleasure or displeasure? I had the opportunity to go to this young woman's Facebook page and take a look around. Listen, I saw some things on this page that were very disturbing, very disturbing. It's some things that I mean, this woman, oh, I don't want to talk bad about people, but I saw some things on her page that raised some red flags, some things that were very questionable, very questionable indeed. And so what I listen, I know, listen, I don't want to say I know for a fact. I don't want to say that because I don't know what it is that you're looking for in a woman. You feel that this woman is wife material? I listen I mean listen I, I, I don't want to say too much because I, I don't know who's gonna watch this video and where my videos happen to be getting into the hands of people who, who, who who's featured in the video so look we have a woman who when she needs something 
instead of going out there and working or getting it, she uses other people to give her, to supplement her income. What is her long-term plan? And some phone bill and some transportation and a Christmas present for her son, that's, that's not gonna be able to help her survive. And if she's not working, where's she getting the rest of her money from? If you would have saw the level of just ignorance and desperation and just that I saw on her Facebook page, you'd be like, did you really think you were going to get into a relationship with her? Did you really? What type of relationship did you think you were going to get into with her? Oh, no, really? All right. Let's, let's, mm. I want to, I want to, uh, listen. I feel that I said all that I need to say. I would love your comments below. I talked a lot longer than I expected to, but I felt that this was something that needed to be spoken about. So I would love your thoughts below because you know what? It's like, listen, Men, you ain't fooling nobody. Baby, you ain't fooling nobody. This is how you end up getting used. And I do time and time again do videos about this over and over and over again. This is how you end up getting used. Because you go into a situation with a person that you don't know nothing about besides how fat their booty is, how cute their face is, or how shiny their lip gloss, or how popping their lip gloss is. You don't know nothing about this person. Nothing. You know nothing about this person. You have not bonded with this person. And you are so overwhelmed with lust, desire, greed, manipulation, whatever it is that you're overcome with, that you begin to trick off in these relationships and you two do not have any bond. There's no bond. Remember, you know what just came to me in my mind, that Lauren Hill song, when she was like, you give it up so easy, you ain't even fooling him. Okay, all right, let's talk about that. And then we're gonna get out of the video. All right, all right. What was the requirement that she had to meet or face before you opened up your wallet, baby? Well, what was the requirement? What was it? Was it a certain amount of phone time? Was it a certain amount of, I bet you, I bet you, you don't know her birth date. I bet you don't know, I bet you don't know her middle name. I bet you don't know where, where, I bet you don't know where her, I, I bet you know nothing about this woman. What she wants to be, what her dream is, where she's headed in her life. I did a video about seven things to look for in a good woman. I bet you haven't even asked these these questions and it's like it's like you feel so low about yourself and you feel so low about your own worth and your own esteem for your body that you feel that the best avenue is to have to pay someone to accept your penis in a non a non-disclosed transaction come on brother what you doing man Come on, what you doing? What is this? Come on. So, that's my full video for today. I would love your comments below. Please leave your message below. And if you like this segment, by all means, please let me know if you want more of these. You can always come to my website, tanyatko.com. Drop your question there. And then that's it. We'll go, we'll go on from there. Hug me. I know we had a very hard video today, so just hug me. Hug me. <laughs> I love you. I do. Listen, I do. I love you. Hug me. <laughs> okay. I do. I love you. Please take care of yourself. Go out there and love one another. Most importantly, what? That's right. Love yourself. Love yourself and start communicating. Start having the difficult conversations. If there's something that you expect from someone, talk to them about that. Be honest, be upfront, and don't lie to yourself. And baby, don't you dare try to come and lie to me, honey, because I'm going to call you out on it. <laughs> one more hug, one more hug. <laughs> All right, Tanya TKO, and I'm out. Make sure you come to my website, tanyatko.com. Hit me up on Facebook, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all over the net. Peace. <laughs>